Hola a todos. Harry here from Chat Spanish, teaching you some useful Spanish things. So, how do they say to laugh in in Spanish? What's their phrase? What do they really What do they really say? I'm going to show you in this video. First off, the word to laugh, reír, the verb infinitive here, ir verb, although it's got a little accent on the i, which an accent in Spanish is called tilde, tilde. So really pronounce that, reír. So reír means to laugh. And I, I want you guys in your own time to have a look at the conjugation of reír. This is just the present tense. It is quite irregular, as you can see. In orange here is the irregular conjugation. So, yo rio, I laugh, tu ríes, you laugh, el, ella, usted, ríe, reímos, reís, ríen. So, remember the accent, reímos, really pronounce, uh, pronounce that, all right? So, just have a look at that in your own time. I thought I'd share it again here just because it is quite different to usual IR verbs. Now, this is what I was taught in school, reír a cargajadas to roar with laughter. So this expression I was told, really, when you're laughing out loud, you're really laughing, you say this. But I remember when I was in Madrid and I said it to my colleague, Eva, or Eva in English. And she was like, what? She was the one laughing. She was like, why are you saying that? That's such an old school way of saying it. And I found out that that is true. Of course, they teach us old school stuff in school. So, reyera carcajadas, people will understand you. And it does mean to roar with laughter. But I think the there's a translation, carcajada is like a guffaw, which I think is a very old fashioned way of saying to to laugh, like to really laugh from your belly. So people will understand that, but I'm going to show you how the current Spanish speakers say to laugh out loud or to crack up. And that is this uh, phrase here, partirse de risa, to crack up, to be in stitches, partirse de risa. So make a note of that, it's a really useful one. And let's break it down. So partirse itself, it's a reflexive verb. So if the IR verb here, infinitive, partir, and then the SE on the end, reflexive. To break, split, or crack. That's what partirse means. And then la risa is laugh and laughter. So it can mean the same thing. Do you hear the la, la risa, the laugh, the laughter? So to crack, to crack oneself open with laughter, I think. That's how we would translate that. To, to be in stitches, to laugh out loud is partirse de risa. So an example. David se partió, preterite tense in the past here, de risa cuando escuchó, again preterite, el chiste. So reflexive verb here, el, David, el se partió de risa. He cracked up laughing. He was in stitches when he heard the joke. So that's how it's translated, an example, very useful one. I have heard as well, sometimes they get rid of the derisa. So I remember my friend was like, tío, which means mate in Spanish, in Spain. Tío, Harry, me partí, me partí, tío, me partí. Again, I just, I just cracked up. And this, the lateral translation is just like, I cracked, I, I've split, right? It's just partirse here, they're missing derisa. So if you really want to sound like that native local speaker, just get rid of the risa. Tío, me partí. So I hope you found that useful. Please do subscribe to the canal, the channel. It means the world to me. Um, and give this video a like. Leave some comments uh, below. Any questions you have, share this video. And do let me know what you want me to cover, if anything. And I have got another great video for you um, all about... Uh, damn, I just made this up actually at the end bit. Uh, so... I'm going to link a random video. None comes to mind at the moment. It's just so you keep browsing my channel um, and uh, YouTube boosts me up the algorithm. So, you know, shameless with it, but I need to I need to get that exposure. And we need to get as many people in the world speaking Spanish as possible. So I don't know what video I'm going to share here, but make sure you click it next, please. Un abrazo. Ciao, chicos.